Hey guys, Naturally Nelsie here today, and as you can see, my hair is wet because I am going to be trimming my hair today or tonight. And the main reason why I need to trim it is, um, I'm looking in the mirror behind you guys, but yeah, you're seeing this, but I'm trying to see. I have some parts in my hair that's like, it's, I don't know if it's still relaxer on it or whatever, but as you can see, my hair, like, it's full, and then at the ends, it basically, like, I guess you can say thins out like that. And another way where you could tell if your hair needs twisting is, of course, when you twist your hair, it's supposed to be one set, you know, uh, I guess you could say fullness to it. But with my hair, it's like when I get down to this end right here, it just does that. And I don't really know what this is, but yeah, I need my hair to basically be full the whole way down so basically I would be cutting off this portion right here. the main things I'm going to be using is of course a fine tooth comb or rat tail comb I'm going to be using a Denman brush and I'm going to be using shears and please guys do not cut your hair with you know regular you know at home scissors they need to be shears and they need to be specially designed to cut your hair because if you do use regular scissors and not shears, they may not be as, you know, sharp as you need it to be. And what it, since the blade is dull, what it'll do is like when you're cutting your hair, it's not a clean, you know, swipe cut and, you know, blunt and everything. It's going to be like you cut your hair, but it's just going to continue to split because you didn't cut the main, you know, part that needs to be snipped at the, you know, the base. So just use shears and so I'm going to be using these shears and I'm also going to be using these as well to separate my hair now of course you could trim your hair wet you could trim it dry I'm gonna trim it dry because I mean wet because I can tell exactly like you know the areas that need to be trimmed okay guys so I have the first section already separated and I'm basically just gonna go in and do these in small sections because I want to make sure that I get you know a good oops a good portion of like these uh weird looking end things and I'm not cutting off too much or too less of my hair so what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to use my Denim brush and I'm just gonna go through this section like so And I'm going to be gentle because I normally don't, you know, detangle with this, but I really want to make sure I'm getting these uh, weird parts of my hair. So what I'm basically going to do is this method where I twist my hair into like kind of like a rope. And as you can see, I can already see where my hair is starting to not be as thick like this little long rope area and yeah my hair is coming out this needs to be clipped so that's the best way for me to determine and I think this portion right here is shorter so I'm just going to do this little twisting method and if I hold on to it I can see like right there is where it needs to be snipped so I'm going to grab my scissors And I can tell that the area right there needs to be snipped. And that weird portion is gone. And now I can move on to this portion right here. So I'll basically do the same thing. Just roll my hair in like a rope. And I can already feel this section right here needs to be clipped. So all of this is, I'm gonna basically cut. Maybe now you guys can see I'm talking about like, you see those weird stragglies? Yeah, those need to go. And now all I did is just twisted the whole area and you can see there's a little bit more still there. So what I'll do is just twist it and I think that much needs to go. 
and I'll just cut it. Yeah, my hair feels better. So I'm just going to spritz it with water because you're never supposed to detangle on hair that isn't wet. So that was pretty easy. And now I'm just going to go with my fine tooth comb. Twist one section like so. If my hair was all like one length, I would probably just, you know, cut it like as is, but it's not. So just to be sure, I'm just going to twist it. I mean cut it in sections. So I could feel that it starts to thin right here. So this is where I would cut. So now this section is next. I'm going to do the same thing. Twisting this. And I could feel it right here. If you guys hear a word noise, that's my hair in the back. And there we go. guys so I finished my whole entire head I'm not gonna keep these twists and this was just to not you know get everything tangled up but I can definitely tell you guys that my hair feels a lot better since I cut off a little you know straggly straggly ends or whatever like even doing these little you know uh on neat twists they're they just feel nicer and as you can see like they just hold a lot better as well so I'm really excited to do my perfect twist when I'm finished but yeah brief hair history that I forgot to tell you guys the last time I trimmed my hair was in May and we're in December now so it's May June July August September October November December so it's like seven months since I trimmed my hair or seven or eight give or take and yeah I don't really do it that often because like I said my hair you know it doesn't it doesn't really you know get too damaged or anything like that but i was definitely in need of a trim and i'm so happy that i did it and i didn't lose a lot of length or anything like that but what i'm basically going to do now is twist my hair up with my cantu shea butter and well twist it better than this of course so my cantu shea butter i'm going to show you guys how those twists look since you know clipping or trimming my ends and i'm also going to show you guys some pictures later on with the twist of how my twist outs now look now that I cut my end up. Like I think I didn't mention before, the only time when you should trim is if you notice that your hair, maybe your twist outs aren't feeling the same. Maybe, you know, when you're combing your hair, you see a lot of tangles. It could be because you're getting a lot of single strand knots, which is what I have been getting and I'm not a fan of it. So yeah, that's pretty much the times when I think you should trim. And I think that is everything that I wanted to tell you guys. So. Along with those pictures at the end, I will see you guys in my next video.